You know, honestly, I don't even feel like I have a motivator. I just, I just love basketball. I love just, just going out there and hooping. You know, I really believe that I can do everything on the court. Like, I really mean it when I say it. Yeah, people thought I was crazy, but you know, if you believe it, nothing else matters. Hey, Modest, Shaq O'Neal here. Hey, I can remember my draft night like it was yesterday, brother. The flashing lights, the fancy suit, family and friends surrounding you to hear your name call, and to watch you walk across the stage to shake the commissioner's hand. It's time to take a deep breath and soak it all in. To reflect on the journey that got you here and to appreciate the ones who are with you along the way. On one hand, brother, you have finally arrived. And on the other, you're just getting started. Starring Modest Buzelas for a special NBA draft episode, this is The Break, presented by the General Insurance. starts his day 7.30 in the morning. After that, he goes and does like a little morning workout, 8.15 to 8.40. From there, we go up to basketball, 9.45 start time. An hour and a half, two hours going hard every single day. Then he goes to Red Bull for his real strength and conditioning workout. And then after that, he, he comes home for you know, 30, 40 minutes. And then um, he does a second basketball workout. And, and then we started back all over the next day. It's, it's intense. And you could see the growth. Modest is, uh, he's gonna do well. Obviously, great parents, dad, mom. And then he's, he's on a mission. He's on a mission to, to see these dreams come true. And right now, he's just living out what he set out to do when he first started playing basketball. So he's. He's on the right track, and I'm happy for him. That haircut, though, look at that haircut. Get a picture of that haircut. Hey, Modest, get that, we're getting that haircut on camera. I love it. I know John went to Puerto Rico. I seen that. I seen Norris, yeah, I seen Norris hooping, too. Norris has been hooping, hooping. And so the draft, is, the draft is Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday, so Friday they'll fly to the city. That's it. But the good thing about it, you're doing basketball for a living. We talk basketball for, for, for no money. So you get to do it for a living. That's the best job in the world. You know, I can't ask for anything else. I'm, I'm blessed to be. You know, I get to play basketball every day. And I wake up with that same mindset that you know, everything can be taken away from you. So I don't take this stuff for granted. I'm here with Modest Bruzelis, potential number one pick, lottery pick for sure, in the 2024 NBA Draft. Modest, how are you doing today, man? I'm great. Uh, this is a blessing experience to be here. So thank you for coming. Thank you guys for doing this. And I'm excited. How do you think you're going to feel when you get drafted? I'm definitely gonna cry. And I know my little brother's gonna cry. So Vince, yeah, if I, I see you cry too, I, a tear might go down. Does your mind think about, hey, I could, where could I fit into this situation when you kind of watch some of these teams in the playoffs? I, I, me personally, I feel like I could fit in with any team because, you know, as I said before, I feel like I bring a lot of things to the table and, you know, whatever the, that coach tells me to do, that's what I'm gonna do. And, you know, me, I love challenges, so. If something's not going right for me, you know, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna give up on myself, so. What are you working on now then? Working on conditioning, off the dribble threes, catch and shoot threes, um, seeing, you know, how much more explosive I could be, seeing how much higher I can jump. And it's just, you know, throughout the months, it's just got even crazier. I went to six different teams to work out for. 
I think I showed my personality really well to them. You know, everywhere I went, we got along, so we'll see what happens. Very excited for the future. What's your name, occupation? Uh, Vince. Let's play basketball. There you go. Name, occupation? Sophia. Occupation? Mm -hmm. Lacrosse. When he committed to Ignite, the day after the draft, Paolo's draft, we were in this hotel, uh, like same room, double beds, all that, and we were like sleeping across each other. We talked about it that night two years ago. We're like, this is gonna happen for you. You're you're gonna do it. You're gonna you're gonna be here. And then now we're back at the same hotel two years later. Everything we talked about, he's doing it. I just got the chills, but like it does feel like yesterday. I don't know how it feels for you, but no, I got there the was too. like two days ago, I I was stressed, I was planning stuff, and then yesterday I sat down and I'm like, what? Like it's happening. It's happening, yeah. and like, I mean, I know tomorrow we're all gonna be so happy. Not happy that it's over, and like, more happy that it's beginning. Yeah, because happy this that it's getting started. All he's worked for, and not many people can make it to the pro level, and he's one of them. I'm definitely eager to find out, but like, I'm really in the moment, so I don't think it's hit me yet, like, where I'm gonna be at, but I think. When it happens, it's going to be, you know, a core memory. I got clearance from my team last minute. I could have missed it. You look like the Terminator, bro. Yeah, I you got, look like you've been lifting weights. You got a little shoulder pads. So I gotta go, right, Jenny? Yeah. yeah. Pull up. Take this shit up. Yes. Yeah, yeah it, go, it goes with the shoes. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah, Norris. I just see my wife. Look in the mirror and see if you like a square. I mean, I did everything else. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I can do that. Okay. Okay. It's true, my guy. We'll see you there. Uh, okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. All the hard work about to pay off. A few hours. We're going to go bus one. Hold up. Mata, Stefan, Isaiah, Tom, Dalton, Jerry. I really thank everybody who's helped me, even from the small things, just picking me up, giving me a ride to practice. I mean, it feels like I was just in middle school, honestly but I knew how long it took to, you know, get me here. You know, I didn't do it on my own. I think looking back at it now, I think that's what everything, when you're, you know, in the present time, I think everything's going slow, but when you look back at it, it's just, it goes so fast. Matas Buzelis left home early, trading high school in Chicago for two years at Brewster and Sunrise. And now, Matas is going home. This time, as the newest member of the Chicago Bulls. It's tough to write a story better than that. I don't even believe it. Like, I still just don't believe that he, he will be an NBA player. When, when Matas plays basketball, he's all, you can see he's always smiling. He has a family. He appreciates every moment. Crazy.
you all here. It's ridiculous, actually. <laughs> I, I mean, but there is a reason. Um, and I just want to say, you can imagine, you can dream about it when, when shit happens. It's surreal, and it's. I just want to raise a toast to say congratulations to my son. And, and I want to say, let's go, boys! Can you articulate what this means? A chance to not only play professionally, but here in Chicago. It means the world. Um, me being born and raised there, it just makes it so much better. And um, I mean, it means everything to me. I, I can't even explain it. <laughs> now that I'm here, I'm very excited. I mean, it's crazy. Growing up in Chicago, watching the Bulls, it just, it means the world to me, honestly. So, you know, I don't take this stuff for granted. My ass, it's your boy Shaq. I want to say, guess what, brother? You finally got your big break. That's right. You got drafted by the Bulls. You're going back to the crib. I'm so happy for you, baby. Bada, 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 bada. Do what you do, baby. Love you.